This is the first video in what is hopefully going to be a series of videos showing you how to build a game for mobile from start to finish. Now I haven't planned out exactly what I'm going to build, I've got a fair idea of what I'm making and what I want things to look like and how it's all going to work, but we're starting from scratch. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and create a new project and I'm going to create a 3D game. Let's wait while that creates the project. Here we go. Uh, now I'm going to create a platform game, something akin to um, phases or almost impossible. We're, we're kind of creating that style of game. Uh, if you haven't heard of those or seen them, you can Google uh, and have a, have a look at those. But I'm going to start by creating this platform with the cube that uh, that every build box project starts with. Uh, let's have a look. I'm going to make that five long, and uh, let's make that bit bigger there. And two. All right, that's good enough to start with. And now let's create a character. Let's get him in there, and I'll drop him into the world. Let's make him a bit smaller. We can always adjust this later, later on down the road, uh, but this is good enough for now. So let's play that. Now I know I want the game to be uh, landscape, so I'm, I'm gonna just change that. And let's have a look. All right, and I'm gonna switch to the game camera and rotate so we can get a better look. Um, that'll do for now. Right, and you'll notice that the platform drops to the ground. So what we want to do is we're going to need to remove, um, we want to make that static. Great, okay. And let's just pop that back. All right, um, now with phases and almost impossible, the character bounces up and down. So we're going to want a jump node. Um, they continually bounce. So, uh, and we're going to want a collision node. Now what we're going to do is we want to say if the character hits the ground, then it should bounce. Uh, so if collide, um, then jump. Uh, if we play that, yep. Uh, he's that's he's gone quite high there. Let's move that to yeah. Okay, uh, I'm going to increase that to twelve because um, I'm going to increase the gravity in a minute. So he's he's not going to jump so high. Uh, let's go back to the 3D world. And one thing to always check is the uh, is the collision shape on your object. I think by default. Buildbox often puts it in as a cube. And now we've obviously got a, a sphere here, so let's swap that over. And uh, I'm just gonna make, make it just a little bit smaller uh, so it looks like the ball actually hits, hits the platform it's bouncing on. Right, let's go and fix uh, minus 25. Let's, we're fixing the gravity in the 3D world here. Let's have a look. Uh, possibly too much gravity. Let's check the sphere. Um, friction one. I'm uh, going to set the bounce. The mass is at one. Okay. Good. So he's he's uh, he's bouncing well there. I'm happy with that. Right, but he doesn't have any control, so we can't move him yet. So what we're going to need is we're going to need a UI screen. And we're going to hook that up to the 3D world. And in here, we're going to need a couple of control buttons because when I hit the left side of the screen, I want him to move left. And when I hit the right side, I want him to move right. So we're going to name these. Let's do right. And we're going to call this one the left button. So you can see they're covering the two sides of the screen. OK, let's get back into um, what do 
we want. We want to go into the sphere and add controls, two UI buttons, one for left and one for right. Always handy to name these because then it's quick. Uh, when you glance at your the kind of node maps and you know you can see what's going on. Uh, don't want to create, we want to, uh, not through the object, we want to link that from the start node. So these uh, fire when the game starts, um, right, or, or, or hooked up. Um, we want to set this one to the left and this to the right. Now these are referring to the UI buttons we set up in the UI sheet and the UI node. Um, Right, we're going to need um, the character. We're going to want to move the character when you hit left and right. So the left button needs to be hooked up uh, to the move. And let's duplicate that. I just press D. And then I'm going to hook up the right side. But with this one, we want it to go backwards. I think 1.5 is pretty slow. So I'm going to do four there and four here. And we're going to see, uh, we'll see, we'll see how that looks. Okay. Now you can see if I hold the button down, he kind of glides, which is not what we want. And that is because we need to remove these numbers here. Because uh, otherwise it's kind of applying the speed to, to, uh, to that direction. Yeah. Okay. That's looking pretty good, but you can see he's um, the character's kind of he carries on bouncing even when I've stopped, stopped clicking, and that's because he's got some motion because of the because of the physics, and we want to reset the physics. So I'm going to look for a physics node, drop that in here, and we're going to reset the physics when the button is released for both left and right, and we're going to empty those out. Um, I think that wants to be zero. Uh, so that's the linear velocity and the angular velocity. So we don't, we, you know, we don't want those to keep going. Um, let's test that and see. Okay. Now he's stopping there when I'm um, when I'm letting go and of the mouse. And this is because we set the physics to kinematic, and they actually need to be on dynamic. Okay, that's much better. Yeah, that is looking very good. All right, good. So we've got our player hooked up. He's bouncing. We're clicking left and right, and he's moving. Uh, next, I'm going to... Um, let's make this look a little bit nicer. Now, we don't want grass in this. Um, so we're going to select no ground. And I'm thinking, let's make this a bit thinner. Ah, that's the come off of the uh, if you have this selected it alters the bounding box um, like the collision shape which we don't want to do so I've undone that unselect that and then we want to make I want to make this a bit thinner 1.5 and the platform I don't want them white so I'm going to go into that and let's give this kind of a mid a mid blue color All right, good, good, good. We're getting somewhere now. Uh, let's go back to the 3D world. I'm gonna drop in a point light. I think these are a little underused because uh, they, they, you can get some really nice effects with these. All right, let's bring it in so we're shining on the platform. Nope, oh, let's select that light. Okay, and um, I'm gonna go for a kind of a pinky color and we want to in, increase the intensity there and the range so that it affects a, a larger area and then we can just pull that away uh, yeah okay now let's make the level longer because these this start and end point that's how long the level is and it's are very short at the moment so let's increase that just out here for now we can always make that bigger uh, we're going to need another platform Ooh. 
uh, I'm going to just angle the camera here, hit D and it creates another one in line. Good. Uh, let me just move the character forwards a bit. Uh, and here's a little place for him to jump over, so just so we can get get a test. And you can see the uh, the camera is not following the character. Now, if we highlight the camera, so if you select this one here, you can do position, follow the character or the game path. Now, if I select character, you'll notice that it literally follows the character up and down which i think playing the game like this is gonna yeah, you're gonna start to feel a little bit sick so we're just gonna have it follow the game path which i think is which i think is a better uh, which is gonna be better let's have a look yeah yeah, yeah. this is much nicer whoop okay good um and these, uh, let's create another one of these. Um, oops, it's come off of the, the game camera. Uh, let's duplicate that. You know, the nice thing about 3D is you can just play around with these objects and kind of build up some interest. I think especially as we, we're just getting started here, um, it's nice to add a, add a few things. Um, no, let's do add a few things here. Um, ah, yeah, okay, let's do that. Uh, hang on, right, yeah. Yeah, uh, just to, you know, the character's not using these, but I think it could add a little bit of interest, yeah. Drop that down. Yeah, I think that's looking uh, that's looking pretty good. Let's play that. Yeah. All right. I think um, there's some funky things going on there. Uh, that's something we can look at. Uh, I think the um, the character's just bouncing off off the path it's on. Um, but that's fine, we can fix that later. But I think we're going to leave it there today as that's uh, it's a good start. We, we've got the player moving around and we've, um, you know, we've created uh, the start of a level. And we've started to kind of give the game a bit of a, a, bit of a different uh, feel, a bit of a different style to the to the bog standard uh, from when from when we first opened the game let's play that yeah this is that's looking pretty nice i think this is going to be a great starting point for going forward all right so uh, i'm going to leave it there for today and in the next one i think we'll try and fix the character movement a bit more polish that up add some enemies in um, and yeah, just generally develop the game a little bit more. So I hope you found that useful. If you want to download what we've created today, head over to buildboxacademy.com and you can download the project file. Uh, I'll leave it there and uh, hopefully I'll see you in the next tutorial.